Joining us tonight is presidential historian, former Ron Paul campaign advisor, Doug Weed. Great to have you with us. Doug, Thanks, Lou. This is <laughs> quite something to see. I mentioned his uh, attempts to influence the primary uh, outcome so that he has the greatest impact on these races. Uh, so many Republicans retiring from the House, now the head of the Freedom Caucus and a, uh, you know, in a very fierce uh, and passionate argument with the Speaker, uh, you know, making very clear he's not, uh, he, you won't put him down as a maybe when it comes uh, to Paul Ryan <laughs> as a Speaker. I can't understand, by the way, why anyone in the Republican conference would be putting up with it. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, Donald Trump is turning out to be a transcendent president, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I had the privilege of traveling in 1979, 1980 with Ronald Reagan writing his campaign biography. Right. And I've often said that Trump reminds me of Reagan, but I have to say that Trump is now, he's going places that Reagan dare not trod, as you say, getting involved now in these, uh, these uh, individual races. They wouldn't risk <laughs> Reagan for that sort of thing. but. I'll just say this, the people who voted for Donald Trump are sure getting their money's worth. <laughs> he's yeah. well, he's I, moving quick and nimble. He's taking on the most intractable problems. Yeah, and, and by the way, it's not just the folks who voted for him. <laughs> uh, the people who voted against him or didn't vote at all are getting a, a, a particular bargain because they're watching <laughs> markets soar. They're watching unemployment uh, at historically low levels. Uh, they're watching an economy that is the envy of the world, and in fact, you can already begin to hear those voices across the pond uh, start talking about be sure to lead our economies as well, uh, Mr. <laughs> Trump. Uh, we want some of that prosperity for all Europeans as well. That's kind of hard for status who uh, want to uh, maintain tremendous debt levels, but there it is. Uh, this is a president who is going to be, I think, uh, impossible to ignore. Certainly for historians, <laughs> right. newsmen and women, of course, they will continue their pedestrian, ideological, partisan ways. Uh, but the American people are very well clued in and focused on what this president is doing and understand clearly that it's never been done, uh, uh, with the possible exception of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, you know, I have friends in the UK, they're telling me they see some bumper stickers over there that say, uh, loan us your Trump. <laughs> so uh, he's kind of uh, stirred up some interest all over the world because he's decisive. Yeah. And uh, he's making these hard decisions. He, he turns so nimble, nimbly on this immigration thing tonight. It's interesting to see. I know it's not resolved, but it's interesting to see that. I worked in government, and we learned very quickly the bureaucracy and the Democrats. Well, let, 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 I'm sorry. Go ahead, Doug. I well, they don't that. want Asian immigration, and they don't want Europe, European immigration because they tend to vote Republican. They want Hispanic and African immigration because they tend to vote Democrat. It's political. It's power. And back in 1975, it was Jerry Brown and other Democrats, Joe Biden, opposing the orphans that were coming here from Vietnam. Their fathers were American soldiers. Their mothers were Vietnamese. As toddlers, they were recognizable on the streets of Vietnam. They were being murdered. And here was Jerry Brown blocking the immigration of these children coming into Travis Air Force Base in California. It's so hypocritical <laughs> to see this drama well, played out today. Hypocrisy has never been much of an impediment for, uh, for partisans on either, uh, in either party. Uh, it is interesting, though, to me uh, to see this president, who is already a historic president, having accomplished so much and done so much for the country, whether it be in economics, whether it be in foreign policy. Uh, this is a man who is, uh, I, I mean, he is already influencing the outcomes in the Middle East, and it's making it very clear that he wants his government to influence far more in, in the Middle East and to China's great discomfort. He, uh, Xi Jinping must be beside himself uh, <laughs> to, to think that this president has already outmaneuvered him on every level, whether it's international trade, restoring international balances and in international trade globally, uh, and, and moving in that clear direction. Uh, there, is, uh, there is no facet of public policy, foreign or domestic, that this president isn't putting on a clinic for other world leaders. 
You're right. And I enjoy watching your show to see this whole thing unfold. I keep coming back to that moment with Melania before he announced he was running for office. I've got it in my book, Game of Thorns, where for a moment he's pulling back and Melania is saying, you can't. We've got such a good life. You can't run. And Donald Trump says, but I would be so good. I would make such a good president. So <laughs> he, he had this determination for a long time that Thank he God. would make the hard decisions that no other yeah. president seems to have yeah. been able to make. You know, he, he not only outthink, outthinks other presidents, he outworks other presidents. Uh, and he, as you say, has extraordinary, extraordinary judgment uh, in, in that's a, there's a straight line connection, I, I think, that's pretty clear that goes to IQ. Uh, this is a president who gets lucky when he thinks. And when uh, men and women get lucky when they think, it gives you a sense of just how smart they really are. Uh, not off mentioned, but I thought we should uh, on this broadcast. Doug, uh, we appreciate it. Come back soon. Look forward to Thanks, uh, the next installment uh, uh, as, uh, as America turns around. He's already got that part done. Let's see where we go. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks so much. Doug Wheat. Thanks, Lou.